Hi, I'm Matt Cataret with Fishman showing you the Triple Play wireless guitar controller. Um, it's transmitting from the controller here to the receiver in this laptop. And, and what I want to show you today is what the Triple Play can do for you in terms of your songwriting. Um, if you're a guitar player, uh, maybe you just have an acoustic guitar, you've probably played chords like G and C and D and have wondered why they're not taking you anywhere inspirationally anymore. Uh, I want to show the differences between those same three chords with a few different sounds here that are included with our software. The first one is a string ensemble. So for instance, if you were going to play uh, those three chords I mentioned, G, C, D, with a string ensemble patch, it might sound something like this, and it, it might take you to a certain area of songwriting based upon uh, the feedback you're getting from it. So when I'm playing those three chords and, and that's what I hear coming back at me, um, it, it, it pushes you towards certain uh, lines and, and licks and progressions and voicings you might not normally use that you could then incorporate into your songwriting. Um, it, it might push a song in a certain direction that maybe you didn't anticipate before when you were just playing acoustically. Um, what I want to show you now is that same idea, G, C, and D chords, played with the harpsichord sound that comes with the Fishman triple play software, and that's something like this. Sounds like a pretty legitimate harpsichord there, so you wouldn't strum something like that. Um, if it reminds you of uh, romantic period music, renaissance music, maybe those same three chords become something like... So that was different, same three chords, much different feel. Uh, we'll try that with a, a, a pure synth sound here. This is called Fusionello 2. So this isn't going to sound like any acoustic instrument you might have used before, but maybe this would, would push your songwriting into an entirely different direction. <laughs> drastically different from harpsichord. So you, you could have used harpsichord for one theme and, and gone to that Fusionello 2 synth sound I just used and, and taken it to a completely different direction than I just did. Um, this sort of thing, being able to switch between patches and sounds, can come in handy when you're arranging as well. Um, so let's say we, we have a song and I'm trying to figure out exactly what sort of backing sound I want there. Um, again, just simple chords. Maybe my first thought is, is again, an electric piano. Maybe a, a, it, this is called phasey EP. It's an electric piano phased. Um, and maybe I have something like this. <laughs> Not quite what I was going for with this song, if, if we assume I'm writing a song right here and this is what you'd be doing. Uh, maybe I want to try that same progression with the brass pad, see where that takes me, if that's the tonality I want for this, this particular song. <laughs> Uh, 
uh, that kind of synth brass pad, not quite working for me with this particular piece of music. It's not what I'm hearing in my head, but maybe I'll try uh, acoustic piano and strings also included. looking for so you could incorporate uh, the same idea when you're arranging music if you have an idea a motif in your head um, song you're not quite sure where to take it you can just bump through these patches until something clicks with you and you'll find the sound you're looking for <laughs>